be with us today, Coach Dennis Papadopoulos, following a 1916 loss to Drexel in an EIWA match. Coach, what's on today's performance? We blew it, right? I could say that's the truth, right? You could tell the truth. We blew it. Um, believe it or not, in that middle, those were three of those weights they were heavily favored in, and I actually thought we did our job at 49, at 65. I mean, at 65. Because worst case scenario, you get pinned there, and they have guys that can pin us there. Um, 74, I mean, 74 is good, right? He's conference champion, conference finals, ranked fourth in the country. He's undefeated. Um, heavy favorites. Now, 57 didn't go the way I thought. 84 was the swing match. Um, I didn't think it was going to matter come to 84 because, you know, <laughs> we, we, we lost one that I didn't think we weren't going to, and we lost uh, one that could have went either way. And that cost us a duel me, right? So uh, five matches to five, gave them bonus points and matches that um, they were heavily favored in. So I wasn't upset with the bonus points. I actually thought Mike did a good job keeping it to four. Uh, that kid's a pinner. Not only because that kid's a pinner. That kid wins and he usually pins. So when we came up that only lose by four, I'm like, oh, we might have just won this duel with 33 and, and 49. And then we didn't, we didn't finish it off. It's the best way I can say we didn't finish it off. What do we tell? I'm sorry, I've been. Like, uh, I didn't understand the question. I'm sorry. What do I tell the guys yeah. over time in a match? How do you tell them to approach over time? Like that extra when they go into overtime. Oh, into overtime? Yeah. No, it's, nothing changes. You, you can't take a different approach. The guys that don't take a different approach win at this level, and the guys that do do. And I don't think Jacob took a different approach. Um, listen, they're like. Between all the polls, the two of them are ranked between 18 and 24 and all of them. They're right, like that's, that match, if you asked 100 people, that's an overtime match and he got the takedown, you know? Um, it is what it is. Um, but you shouldn't, there's no difference. There's no different approach. I'm gonna score points, I'm gonna win the positions, I'm gonna get to my shots and I'm gonna score. And if you take a different approach, that's when you know you usually find a way to lose. So no difference there. And what did you think of McFarland's performance? Um, they've only wrestled twice. So last time, McFarland lost them a 3-2 on a controversial takedown. So we knew we could be there. It was two years ago, and that kid has really took off since then. He was good then, too. Um, I don't know. I, I think he's capable of beating him. So how excited can I be? We're still lost, right? But he battled. He battled a good kid that's very, very hard. He's stingy. He's very hard to score on. That's what he does. And we got out from his... Um, we didn't get hit with his two best positions, and we still lost. So that's that's a little nerve wracking, right? He's very good on top. We got out. He's very good at double overs. Um, I, I actually don't like the way the kid wrestles, but it's effective. Like it's annoying, but he finds a way to get it done all the time, over and over again. So you gotta give him credit. You know, tip your hat to him. All right, coach. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.